morning, good morning to you. Thank you so, so much for joining in today. We are so excited. Well, me especially. I can't wait to be sharing with you what is going to happen today on set. We have an amazing topic. Thank you so much, Daniela, for joining in. Please invite somebody for me. The moment you join in, God bless you so much, Angelique. The moment you join in, please share the video. Please share the video. Daniela is always at the film. Yes, she is. She's been trying very hard. God bless you so much. Thank you so much, Naomi, Diana. God bless you. Please share the video. The moment you tune in, please share the video. Please share the video. God bless you so much. I am doing the same. Please share the, the moment you tune in. Thank you once again. God bless you. Yes, Sarah Biam. God bless you so much. Joyce. Please share the video. Share the video. We're about to talk about something very, very important. As you can see, the topic on for today. Share the video. Invite somebody. Invite somebody as we begin to interact and talk with Reverend Dr. Abiyam Ampamadan. So good morning, Daddy. How are you doing today? I, I I would say in the name of the Lord, I'm fine, but I'm not that fine. Ooh. Because yesterday we didn't hear good news. Ooh. Um, Ooh. One of the guys that we, we were supposed to go, um, I mean, we were supposed to go to the streets today, and one of the guys we were supposed to meet today, um, yesterday got, whilst we were praying, she he got stabbed and died. Um, and there's one of the guys who we've been able to bring, um, as you know him, um, Kamal. He's, he's called uh, Mush, you know, and um, his cousin just got stabbed. But I thank God that he has seen it that if he wasn't in the church, maybe he would have also gone into the bar. So now, I'm so angry. Oh, I am oh. so, so, so angry. Oh. My anger is to the dark world. Oh. My anger is against the dark world. We, we, this is the time we must win the souls. Oh. This is the time we have to draw mankind out of the streets and give them a shelter place to be that they can be able to um, be accepted. That is what, that, that's, that's what I'm going through now. We, we, we're standing with you, Reverend Doctor, and we believe that God will see us through. Please, as you're joining in, once again, share the video. Soldiers of Christ, call another soldier. Call them. If you need to message your soldier, message them. Let them know that we are live. Reverend Doctor Abiyam Ahmadazo is live, and everything over here is going to be amazing. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. We are charged. Yes, we are. Definitely, we are. Definitely, we are. And we've got a few questions. So get ready for us. Get ready for us with your phone calls and questions because today is going to be another mind blowing session with Reverend Dr. Abiyam Ampamada. So thank you so much for joining in. Please share the video. Hey, we have uh, Mr. Akisi Kwame online. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please share the video for us. Kindly share the video for us. Mommy as well. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Please share the video for us. Please share the video for us. Happy Easter to you guys as well. Yes, Happy Easter. And um, Daddy, we want to ask you a few questions. And um, You know yesterday you talked about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and how it actually, what it means to Christians, us Christians. Um, well, now we know he's dead. Can you enlighten us a bit more? Because some people are just tuning in right now and I believe they missed out on it. Can you please take us through it again? Exactly um, what but, it is. Uh, first of all, Jesus is not dead. He's oh, alive. That's okay, what I, yes. I just want the society to know that uh, Jesus is alive, he's not dead, Jesus he's is alive. alive. And um, um, this is that is to, you know, um, remember mm -hmm. what he has done, to yeah. remind people mm -hmm. of what he has done 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. what he did mm -hmm. for mankind. Mm -hmm. The point is that, me personally, I believe that uh, one of the most or something that I can say Christ has done for me mm -hmm. is that he paid my debt as a sinner. He paid my debt 
that I did yesterday, that I did today, and what I'm about to do tomorrow. He paid with his blood. Jesus. That is what he did for me. And he he requested something for me to do. And he knew that that is requesting. I may not even have the capacity to do it or the ability to do it. And somehow he decided to give me a gift which has everything that it takes to make me pure. A gift which has everything in it that can make me get all the things I need to get in this world. And that gift is no longer, it's not a small gift. And that gift is called the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. A gift that when even if you are shy, a gift that even if you are fearful, a gift that when you, you feel like you don't want to get up, that gift when it comes into your spirit, it quickens you. Come on. It makes you do the undo. Hey. So um, the death of Christ, I said it last time. I said mm -hmm. it brought us many goodies. Come it on. gives us many gifts, yes. things yes. that we never thought we could ever have mm -hmm. as children of God. Mm -hmm. You know, who am I to speak of Jesus today? Mm -hmm. You know, gone are these days. I have to be a Hebrew man. Mm -hmm. I need to be an Israelite, a mm -hmm. Jewish person. For me to be able to speak about Christ, but now it has He has made this you know possible for somebody like me to be able to speak of Him. Listen, I am not perfect. Mm -hmm. I am not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, gone are the days, and this is who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, as 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 a sinner, but somehow by His grace and by His blood mm -hmm. today. I too, I can open my mouth and say, He is God, you know. So, uh, He came, if we talk about equality, you know, you, you, you see, society understands the death of Christ than we, the Christians ourselves. You know, we, the Christians ourselves. It's not about argument. You know, the point is, you see, politicians are trying to go back into the Bible to pick things that Jesus did. He brought equality. When it comes to equality, whatever, the, the only thing that can make us equal is the Holy Spirit. Come on. It's the Holy Spirit. Come on. It is, it, you see, it is, it is not, it is not, um, how do I call it? It's not uh, you having uh, something called, uh, uh, you know, mothers and fathers and, you know, everybody's focusing on uh, uh, career. It's not mm -hmm. a career that makes you equal. It's not you being paid equal, you know, salary that makes us equal. Wow. Equality is in what the Holy Spirit. In the Holy you Spirit. See, when I have the Holy Spirit and you have the Holy Spirit, God sees us equal. He okay. sees us as one person. And the Holy Spirit causes us to be, be able to, when we connect, wow. Wow. it brings out wow. the church. Wow. And then... God gets his bride mm. and that's when he comes in and dwell among us. Mm. Mm. That is the point. Mm. 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 I hope you get wow. what I'm saying. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Wow, my God. We're only about 10 minutes into today's session. Let me, let me tell you something, guys. Um, all those that are on Facebook, share the video for us. Please, share the video for us. Share the video. Invite somebody especially soldiers online share the video share that video call another soldier and invite them to tune in share this video if you send the link to somebody and they're not on facebook i want to announce it to you we are also live on youtube abm ministries abm ministries hello to all the youtube viewers as well god bless you thank you for tuning in so much Please invite somebody to join us as well. God richly bless you. Daddy, you know, today's topic you're talking about, there's corruption in the church. And, and I remember yesterday you, you mentioned how the old folks have hijacked the church and are not allowing the young ones to operate. So please, can you break it down to us, take us through so that one can get the knowledge and understanding of that? You see, in the time of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ came, he came to meet the Roman, the Romans, the Roman Empire. Now, the Roman Empire 
were now started working with the Pharisees, you know, the Jebusites, uh, no, sorry, the, the, the uh, Pharisees and the doctors of the Lord, yeah. you know, which was in Israel, yeah. you know, at that time, they had this connection that they were paying taxes in the church. Mm -hmm. Now, the most serious thing is that they were going according to the uh, Romans law and then also the Moses law. And at this time, it was a time where they have now entered into the church. Mm -hmm. And so, per what the Roman Empire is expecting the church to do yeah. was what they were doing in all the synagogues. Okay. But when Christ came, he came with a revolution. Mm. Christ was about 30 years old. He was a young man. Mm -hmm. He was a youth. Mm -hmm. So he gathered a group of young men okay. together okay. that they can be able to bring the move Okay, so and they were successfully, they were successfully, they were, they were able to meet the target, what they were looking for. They were able to, you know, you know, gather about 5,000, about 7,000, about, you know, to, to, to tell them about what is wrong and what we should be doing. The revolution came to a point that we, they, they, when you read scriptures, you find out that these things that they were doing, that soldiers were doing, and also the Pharisees were doing, mm -hmm. you know, the doctors of the laws were yeah. doing, the, the, it was a hijack. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So it was not a permitting the people of God to see the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus Christ came in that time, he was dealing with those kind of characters. Okay. There are certain things you can't say. Jesus will go to one of the synagogues as he opens his mouth to speak. Mm -hmm. The people are afraid that what he's saying, mm -hmm. he, he will end up putting them in a problem. Okay. So he shouldn't say it. Mm -hmm. Say those things. And these were old folks okay. who have the old mentality ideas. Mm -hmm. They didn't know that God has and um, is moving mm -hmm. to the next level. They were not, you know, they were not anymore listening to uh, prophets. They were no longer actually going to the books of the prophets, uh, prophets to you know, analyze and to look at what prophetic words that has come, that is written down, that are yet to come to pass. They were just making sure that politically they will be correct. So when Jesus comes and he stands at the pulpit and he speaks, somehow it brings chaos. Because how he speaks, it goes against the Moses law and it goes against the law of that day, the paganism mm. law. Okay. Now, this was why they had a problem with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus brought revolution. Now, in any time, the old folks, eh, the old eagles, hijack the church. It brings chaos. Mm. And it brings stagnation. Okay. Yes. In any time, listen to me, in the time when Eli mm -hmm. was old, yes. somewhere had to come. Definitely. And bring a replace. Okay. You see, as I sit here, mm -hmm. when I am growing old, I must bring somebody to come and replace Jesus. a young lad come to come and replace me. Come on, come on, come on. That is the point. Yes. Now, one of the problems that we face here, I was talking to you when we were coming. Yes, please. I said, what was the fear? What is the fear? Mm -hmm. That you, you have a little young girl. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to talk to the girl, your, your daughter, about sex. Mm -hmm. What is your fear? Mother, who is watching me? Mm -hmm. Old folks that are watching me. Mm -hmm. What is your fear? That you have a son. Yeah. That you don't want to talk to him about sex, mm -hmm. about relationship. Mm -hmm. What is your fear? Mm -hmm. We become so fearful that if our child gets to know about sex, there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. As Christians, it is an abomination. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Scriptures doesn't tell us not to do so. Mm. Now, the problem we are facing at this particular time in England, mm. now we talk about the society. You can see the society we are in. The gay society, 
has been able to push to a point that now they are teaching gayism how to live as a gay in our schools. Okay. They are teaching them in our schools that it is right for a man to live mm. with a man and have a child. Mm. How they will have the child is adoption. Yes. It is okay. Yes. And now Christians have a problem with it. And I'm telling them, shut up! Mm. Mm. Shut up! You have a problem with it when you when you create a vacuum, the devil will pick it up. In any time you create a vacuum, the devil will take it. Come on, come on. Come All right? On. Okay, okay. The Christians, our problem is accusing whether that should not, that is not our call. Mm. Christians, mm. our problem is accusing, complaining. My God. That's how we have become. And you see, it is only old folks mm. that complains and accuse. Mm. 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 Young men are people that are forceful, forceful. ready to risk. Come on. That is, that is, and they have a, that enthusiasm to do whatever mm. they ought to do. Yeah. If they don't yeah. have anything yeah. to yeah. do, they will create problem for you. Mm. That is young men. Mm. 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 Wow. Why do I say shut up to those people? They are teaching your children about gayism. Mm -hmm. Where have you called that child of yours mm -hmm. to teach him about sex and relationship? True, 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 true. You see, where we left, the devil takes over. Mm, my God. Wow. When did the Christians come together and said, let us teach our children sex and relationship so they should bring it in the, the module to be taught out of fear, wow. no mother, no father dare mm. wow, 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 wow. to bring this idea. What I'm saying right now, as I'm talking to you right now, some of them may think that I, something is wrong with you. It yes. is the truth. No wonder. Something it is wrong with you. That's why they are teaching your children that it is okay mm. to be gay. Mm. That's why they are teaching your children. Mm. So you see, politicians, you see, um, I've realized, they'll go into the Bible and they can see that there are good stuff in there. Mm. But because they are not believers of Christ, okay. they will use the Bible for it to go the way they want it to be. Mm. They are just drawing some kind of inspiration out mm. and they will use it. Mm. Mm. That is the problem. Mm. I have been asked myself, okay, what was my fear? Knowing that you grow and have sex, what, is, what was my fear? Mm. It is, if it is fear, why can't I prompt my child of the fear I had? Mm, okay. Was it because of love? That's why I, de I decided that I wouldn't teach my children what is sex. Mm -hmm. What is relationship. So all folks, because of their own failure and their own challenge, they kind of close the door mm. for the young men that are coming. Without any explanation. These are the problems. So now the church is being hijacked by the old men mm. and old women. Mm. That is what is happening mm. at this time. Mm. Now, we <laughs> now when you talk about Holy Spirit, no young man wants to know about the Holy Spirit. But listen, the Holy Spirit, there is something in that when you have old body. Mm. If you are an old man or old woman, mm -hmm. I am saying this and you will read it and you will know that. Okay. If you don't sleep, will you dream? No, please. So you sleep to dream? Yes, please. Okay. Now, I like the scriptures, how he said it. Mm -hmm. The Bible makes us to understand yes. that when the Holy Spirit shows up in the church, mm. shows up in wherever we meet as children of God, yes. What the Holy Spirit does is this. If you are old, it retires you. Hey. It will not be able to do what he ought to do. Okay. It will retire you as an old person. Sure. Sure. Mm. And if you are a young man, mm. you are the one he chooses. 
and it gives you vision. Mm, my God, my God, my God. And my it God. pushes you to go to the whole world to preach the good news. Because you carry the power. power. And for how many years now? Old people have always stopped young men. Mm. Now, why are they doing so? In the name of we will make a mistake. And they know our mistake already because for once they were young. The old folks, we are young. Do you remember when David was called to go and give food to his brothers? His brothers were old. They know who Joseph was. And the Bible says that when he reached, when he got there, he saw, he heard that a man was shouting in short God and cursing the Israelites, the Hebrews, and, and bragging. Then the young man, David, 18 years boy, David, heard what was happening. And he said, No, I will not sit down for this to happen. When he decided to go and confront Goliath, the Bible said. His brother shut him down. He did. You bad boy. We know you. Mm. We know who you are. Mm. You see, old folks always know who you are. They know like they know that you are prone to sex. Mm. They know that as a young man, if you are a young man and you don't have this thing, you are not young. Mm. Every young man wants sex. Mm. Every young man, I mean. Sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. Every young man wants, if you're a man, you want women. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman, you want men. Mm -hmm. Every young man has this ego. Okay. Every young man focus on money. Okay. Yes. Is that not the point? Yes, please. And every young man is has this kind of ambition that I can do it. I can, yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Now, that's how a young man is. So, when... And every young man would die for money. Every young woman would die for a, a relationship. Very true. Every young man would die for a relationship. A, a woman. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Saul knew what this young man has. Called him and said, If you are able to kill this Goliath, mm -hmm. I will give you my own daughter. Mm -hmm. Ha! And then David said, where is he? Let me go right now, right now, right now. <laughs> yes, that could be the weakness of David. Mm. But yet, the Bible says that, um, and, and Paul said, he prayed because of his weakness. And God said, in your weakness, I glorify myself. In your weakness. So every young person that is here, my God. In your my weakness, God, God glorify my himself. God. My God. I'm not going to call you. Share the video. In your weakness, God glorifies himself. I share the video. Invite somebody to join this live stream right now. Because Papa is really releasing it is not, some keys. It's not. This is not a joke. In your weakness, God, God will glorify himself. You see, as the old folks are trying to perfect themselves... You make mistakes and correct yourself and you get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell you me see, something. So Tell me something. the point is this. The Bible said, Saul said, I will give you money. Mm. So the guy was not charged. Mm. I'm going to get a woman. I'm going to get money. Okay. This is okay. what made the guy to go to Goliath and said, I'm going to kill you and cut off your head. Mm. And it was no longer a joke. He had wow. something to wow. die for. Wow. Wow. That's wow. why our boys are on the streets selling weed and cocaine and because there, they know that if they are able to sell, they will get girls, bad girls. If they are able to kill or stab somebody, they will have a good name. Mm. They will have name and mm. people will fear them. Mm. So they are ready to die for anything like that. Mm. So, But that is not how I 
Christ want them My to be. God. Wow. Papa, you are because we are not giving them the opportunity to get the Holy Spirit for them to do wow. the right thing wow. that they ought to be doing. Wow. But what we are doing as old folks, judging them and judging God. them and judging them and judging them. And judging them. Now, we, if you are an old folks and you are listening to me, do you read your Bible and you love David so much? Do you know what David went through as young as he was? David said, oh, I have something to die for. Wow. I have something to die for. Wow. If the most dangerous is this. If a young man has nothing to lose, mm. he will do anything but Jesus. That you Jesus. cannot stop. Jesus. You have nothing to lose. My God. If you live with people that have nothing to lose, mm. they are dangerous than anything. Hey. Yes, they have nothing to lose. Wow. You know? Wow. So, so this is what is happening. When you are a young man and you are leading a church, the first thing is, are you married? Mm. No, I'm not married. Mm. Hey, then the women are dead. Jesus, okay. If you are a young woman and you are going to church every day, you are always in the church. Hey, are you married? No. Mm. Then the pastor is sleeping with you. Oh my God, okay. Is that all? Mm. Mama, you too. Is anybody not sleeping with you? What is the difference that somebody is in the streets that at any time that person can kill himself mm. or mm. kill somebody? Mm. Mm -hmm. And somebody who has been able to see a place that he can be secure there, mm. which way, where would you allow that child to go? Mm. So what am I saying? The devil is now hijacking the church wow. by using the old folks okay. to hijack the church mm. so that young men will not come to the church again. Mm. Because they know our weaknesses and they will use the weaknesses to tell people, oh, wow. he's a prostitute. Wow. Oh, he wow. spoke. Oh, he does this. Oh, wow. of course wow. he does all those things. Wow. But listen to me. In the time when you feel you are a serious sinner, the devil is not another subject for you to go and serve. Come on. Not because I'm a Whoa. sinner, so therefore I should go and serve the I, devil. I hope you heard that. Don't throw me to go and serve the devil because I made a mistake. My God. My Listen God. to me. I will rather serve God in my sins than going to serve the devil. Come on. So mama, sister, you the gossiper, you the wicked one, you the one that wishes that I will not serve Christ. Wow. You the one that you 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 you, you are writing me off that I don't have the right to serve God. My Who are you to tell me God, so? My God, my God, my God. It is like somebody telling you if you are sick, wow. you don't go to hospital. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. Mm. Church is calling me. Jesus. Jesus. Church is calling me. He said, I came for those who are sinners, who are lost. Mm, mm, mm. So if mama, if you think I am lost, then I think I need Jesus more than you. Mm. If you think I am lost, I need Jesus more than you. Preach it, daddy. Preach it. The Christians and the pastors who are preaching and saying all oh, rubbish, mm. you are going to hell and all that. I think I need Jesus more than you. You are too holy to have Jesus. Mm. Mm. You are too holy to have Jesus. If you are pure, you don't need Jesus. That's what the Bible says. Mm. So the seriousness of this matter is that Jesus now had to make us to understand. And you see, when the Pentecost day came, something seriously happened. Okay. I won't read all, but I want us to just go to just a little place. Okay. Okay, the most serious thing that happened. And amazingly, he even referred David as well. But we'll go there. As to, okay. after the, the, you see, when the Pentecost, uh, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, mm -hmm. they were all with one accord mm -hmm. in the place. Yes, yes. Suddenly, suddenly, uh-huh, 
a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole Man house. said, suddenly, mm -hmm. there came a sound from heaven mm -hmm. as of what? A rushing wind. Mighty wind. Come on. The Holy Spirit, when it is coming, it comes like a rushing, mighty wind. It doesn't come from any place. It comes from heaven. And where is it coming from? Who is it coming from? Holy Spirit doesn't use old folks. I will repeat, Holy Spirit doesn't use old folks. If you have old mentality, the Holy Spirit will not use you. Come on. Okay. 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 When we talk okay. about old, an old person is an cake person mm. who always sit down yeah. and no, this one is not right, this yeah. one yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what yeah. rubbish yeah. is this? Yeah. 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 Young men take risk. Is that yes. go on? No, don't worry. Let, let's 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 move from there. Let's go to uh, 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 two four uh, fourteen. 14. But Peter. Then. Uh -huh. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised the Mama says, but Peter, mm -hmm. standing up with the, what? The eleven. Yeah. And go on. Raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. Now everybody listen carefully. These people are not drunk. This man and this young man you see, they are not drunk. You see, and any time young men gather together, mm -hmm. young men and young women gather together and they start, they start dancing or praising God mm -hmm. with their enthusiasm, mm -hmm. with their joy and peace. Straight ahead, people will say, oh, this one, they are drunk. Mm -hmm. It is weed. This is cocaine. Mm -hmm. Why is it that when young men, we begin to shout and begin to praise God with them, people tag us? My goodness. You're drawing my mind to something. Yes. Church is not for old folks. They have hijacked it for too long. Wow. 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 You see, when mommies and daddies come to church, they are coming that God, we want you to help us so that we can marry our husbands. Mm, mm. Hey. We need purpose. We need to buy cars. Young men are not so. Mm. They are looking for the souls of men. Mm. They want to win souls. They want to mm. pray. They want to work. You see, when you go to the society, society has not decided to give young men opportunities. They have created school and say, go to school. Wow. Oh, every government that comes, wow. their first priority is to look for all the youth. Eh? Because if the youth is not working, the devil will give him a very beautiful work. Mm. So every government that does work, they will look for the youth. The fact, you check it in, in politics. They look for the youth and then give them something. They will keep them like a prison. And all that they will do is assuring them, assuring them, assuring them. But they don't give them opportunities. Mm. And go to Africa. Why Africa is not excelling? Mm. If you see why Africa is not selling, mm. why Africa is not excelling, mm -hmm. is because all the presidents are old. My Bunch goodness. of old people. My oh yes, okay. they are all old. Okay. So when they come, they will bring policies. Mm. You check Ghana. You see. Any young man that will come will bring infrastructures because he wants to build the nation to suit Europe. But the old folks, they want to bring policies. No, if you do this one, it's not right. If you do this one, it's not right. If you do this one, it's not right. If you do this, one, right. you do this that's what they like to do. But if you like, check your scriptures. People that were able to do well in their days, all of them were young men. If Africa will do well, they need to now go back to the young men because they have the power, the capacity to do things. Now check right now. If you look, our young men are dying in the sea. Young men are dying in the sea. Every now and then. They are stopping them, but they are still rushing. Young men are looking for opportunity and they can't find it. Wow. And that is why I am calling every young man that's right, that's right. to wake up. Wake up. 
Because the Holy Spirit is moving, looking for young men. Now, when you go to Ghana right now, every young man, eh, if they don't do Sakawa, they will open a church. And people have a problem with it. Old folks has a problem with it. Hmm? We have pastors. You see, young men, when they have something, they want to show it out. There's a young man called Obofu. I have not met him before. They said he's uh, a Mansan Bofu or, so, uh, uh, or a Shanti Bofu or something. He's in Ghana. You know, people don't like him. They don't like him because he shows his cast. They don't like him because, you know, he, he, he say things as it is. He's a young man. You see, when you have that young exuberance in you, okay. when God does something for you, mm -hmm. you want the whole world to know. Okay. Ha, madam, haven't you been young before? Mm -hmm. The first time you bought your car, you wanted everybody to see the car. Mm -hmm. When you grew up, you don't want that again. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that remember thy youth. Remember thy God. Remember thy God in thy youth. Remember thy God in thy youth. He didn't say in your old age, in thy youth. For you to be able to know God well and to know him well and save him. Uh, sorry, and, and to serve him. You need to remember him in thy youth. Come on, come on. And he said there is a bad day that is coming. Hey. Old age is a bad day. Hey. I am going to my be God. old, my God. day to come. But that is the type of retirement. Jeez. Now we are going to read it and you will understand what I'm saying. Amen. Now this was Peter talking. Acts chapter 2, verse number 24. Uh, uh, verse number uh, 14. So that we all understand what I was talking about. That when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, old folks, they will sleep and dream dreams. Okay. Read it. Verse 15 says, These people are not drunk as you suppose. Uh -huh. It's only nine in the morning. No. This is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. He and now said, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. So it was told. It was foretold. Mm. Young man, rise up. This is your time. Wow. Don't let anybody stop you. Wow. wow. In Ghana, when you are a young man and you get money, ah, oh, this one is a sakawa. Jesus. Oh, it's a juju. Why can't it be Jesus? It, it, no, because it is only old people that have to have everything. No way. If you're a young man, they will attack you. Jesus, Jesus. If you're a young man, cannot prosper. Mm. Hey, who told you? Mm, 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 mm. It says, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. In the last days, God says, God says. I will pour out my spirit eh? yes. on what? All people. So sister, brother, mm. that you are watching me. Mm. The spirit of the Lord is in every person. Jeez. Whether you are a killer, whether you are smoking, whether you... In the last days. In you know what? Day. You see, foolish men of God doesn't talk about this. Mm. They said, in the last days, oh, evil things are going to happen. Oh, there will not be God. No. He said, in the last days, the Spirit of the Lord oh is God. going to appear. There's going to be so much of the Spirit of the Lord. Mm. In the last days, no wonder there's going to be so many churches everywhere. Mm. In the last days, my God, in the last days, in the last days, in the last days, in the last days, God. In the last days, God. In the last days, God. Whether you are a prostitute, whether you are gay, whether you are whatever the people think you are, in the last days, God will pour his spirit upon your life. So if there is any man of God that thinks that this is the last day, then I want you to know there is a spirit of the Lord upon your life right now. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody tell you that you have demonic spirit. Mm -hmm. No, you have God's spirit. Right. You have Jesus in yes. you. You have God in you. In the last days. Yes, in the last days. Yes. 
Somebody is so uh, stupid and say, yeah, and come my man, I will burn up. You know, the, the prostitution, you are, the, 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 you, you, you are a thief, you are this. Uh, stop it, the fire of God, what do you mean? In the last days. In the last days, I will pour down. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour out my spirit Jesus. upon all flesh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. open your ears and you hear what I'm my saying. God. Open your ears and hear what I'm saying. In the last days, you qualify to receive the Spirit of the Lord. Jesus. In the last days, I said you qualify. You qualify. He didn't say you need to go to the Bible school before no, no, you no, receive no, the Holy no, Spirit. No, 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 he didn't no. say you have to go to anywhere. He said in the last in the days, last days, in the last days my he, will pour, he will pour. Jesus. He will pour down. He will pour down Jesus. his Spirit upon you. And I tell you right now, the Spirit of the Lord is in your room right now. You might be a team, but the Spirit of the Lord hey. is in you right now. Hey. Maybe you are a sucker woman after you finish listening to me. You're going to do it. But I want you to understand the Holy Spirit is in you right now. The Spirit of the Lord is in you right now. Jesus. You may be a gay, but the Holy Spirit is in you right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. I didn't come here to condemn you. I did not come here to condemn you no. because in the last days the, last the Lord days. will pour yes. down His Spirit yes. upon yes. all flesh, upon yes. all flesh, yes. and you are one of them. Thank you are not a stone, Spirit. you are flesh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive it, receive it, Thank receive you, it, receive Spirit. it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Please share the video for me one more time. Listen. Please share this video for it me. Cancel. God bless you. This message mm. cancel the works of the flesh. They are manifest. Come on. It cancels it. It cancels it. You see, when the, Jesus, <laughs> talk to me when the Spirit of the Lord takes over, when what takes is the works of the flesh? Come on, come on, come on. He said, in the last days, I will pour down my Spirit come upon on. all flesh. flesh. It means that I am the man so I'm a thief. Mm, 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 Yet, mm, mm. he will give me some of his Spirit. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he that will. is what he said. My and then continue. God. He said what? My God. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. The first thing is he didn't say you. Mm. Mama, oh. he's not saying oh. you. Oh. Mama, My so God. if you think your son My should God. not go My to God. church, there's a mistake. Jesus. There's a mistake here. Mm. Mm. You mm. think your son is smoking mm. weed, so therefore he can't speak about Christ. You are making a big mistake. My God. Before God will deal with you, He is going to deal with your son and your daughters first. He says your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. He didn't say your big brother. He didn't say your big sister. He didn't say your colleague. He says your sons and your daughters. Hey, if you don't have a son, shut up! You don't have a daughter. Shut up! Woo! And your sons and your daughters, they will do what? Prophesy. Prophesy. Your young men will see. Now, now people don't want to see, doesn't want to hear people prophesy. Mm, mm, don't want to hear people prophesy. Mm, mm, uh, it's past. It's past. Mm, Are you okay? He said, and then he said, your young men will do what? Will see vision. He said, your young men, now he's talking about young. Young. Mm. He said, now the young men. <laughs> Uh, are you hearing me? Oh your sons and daughters, young, your sons, young mm -hmm. sons Jesus. and daughters, they will prophesy. Jesus. And then your young men, young men, they will what? They will see visions. visions. The devil doesn't want the young men to mm -hmm. see visions, so he wants to steal from them. My God. And the point is that they don't want them to see who they are. Mm -hmm. So mommies are saying, you, you are going to church. You. Can you imagine? You, you are going to church. You don't clean. You don't do this. You don't. Mm. Hey! Mm. 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 Wow. Then they will bring this quotation. The Bible says that honor thy father and thy mother for your days to what? Be long. Mm. Hey! Listen. Jesus. Don't manipulate anybody. Mm. Mm. Let the Holy Spirit do what he ought to do. Come on. Come Is on. somebody here to me? Come on. I love this. I love it. I love it. Now he said, your, Holy Spirit. Wow. your sons and daughters will, do it. will prophesy. And what else? Go on. Your old men will dream dreams. 
Now listen. He said, old man, hey, get some bed and sleep and dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. Oh my God. So you that is watching me that you feel like I have nothing, I am nobody. The spirit of the Lord said to me, even you, you have yours. Jesus. The Holy Spirit will not leave anybody in, in the last days. So why do you want me to go and look into, in the last days, there's going to be gay, there's going to be this, there's going to, no, my last days. The, the Holy Spirit. My last days, I see the Holy Spirit. My last days, I don't see the devil. My last days, I see the Holy Spirit. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit moving. Come on. Hey. Wow. Now look at this. Continue. Wow. Wow. He says, I will show wonders in the heavens above. And signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billows of smoke. Uh -huh. oh my God. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood mm -hmm. before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Tell and us. everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will he, be saved. He's talking about the blood and the mm -hmm. sun and whatever. But he comes back and says, mm -hmm. he said, whosoever called the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. If you're a thief, call the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you are an armed robber, call the name of the Lord Jesus. If you are a drunkard, call the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't qualify. He said, and everyone who called the name of the Lord. Everyone, everyone, everyone. There is package, there is a package, there is a package, there is a package. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, the number, the phone lines are open to call. Please call the Somebody's line, calling. yes. Hello? Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Hello. How are you today? God bless you. What is your name and where are oh. you calling from? Oh, my name is Iman. I'm calling from Dubai. Blessings, uh, Brother Emmanuel. Please speak to us. We're listening. Um, Today is my birthday. I would like the pastor to bless me for today because today is my special birthday. Wow. Emmanuel, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for joy and peace. I pray that the Amen. Lord will restore you everything that has been lost. Imago, are you schooling? Yes, boss. Are you schooling? No, I am working now. You are working. I saw something like a, 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 a cast, cast. And I mm. saw that you were shipping them a lot of cars. Okay. So I am praying that God will give you the opportunity to be able to do this business in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. This this young man, eh, he will do a lot of real estate. Wow. Yes. Wow. A lot wow. of real estate. Wow. wow. But wow. it will start with the cards. Okay. Yes. Okay. God bless you. Wow, amazing, amazing. God bless you so much, Emmanuel. And if you want to call in, the lines are open right now. The number to call is 0744-805-8842. I repeat, 0744-805-8842. Be sure to call in. God bless you so much. If you have any questions, I mean, we've just got about 10 more minutes to wrap up today's show. So feel free to come in. Please continue, sir. The most painful thing is that mm. when you are going to hospital, mm -hmm. you are sick. Yes. In this country, they will call ambulance. Yes. Because this Hello. is very important. Okay. Hello, caller. Good morning. Good morning, bless you, sir. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Um, I just want um, Papa to pray for me and also to contribute to what Papa is saying. Okay. Please, let's go to the contribution, then we pray. Hello? Yes, Hello. go to the contribution. Oh, yes. And basically, what everything Papa is saying is very true. God bless you so much, sir. It's um, Benjamin from Ketram. Okay. 
Wow, 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 wow. That's you know, and just just yesterday, um, uh, my former okay, um, y just yesterday, my former boss, my former boss called me from Lebanon, and the Lord gave this scripture in Jeremiah chapter sixteen, verse sixteen, it says that in the last days He is going to call for fishermen, and He's also going to call for hunters. A lot of times, the church has become so judgmental that we've relegated so many people to the background instead of us embracing them. So I just want to encourage you, Papa, everything you're everything you saying is true. You said, you God bless Jeremiah, you for the good work. Jeremiah what? Chapter 16, verse 16. We will read it for you. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse what? 16, verse 16. 16. Uh -huh. Continue, please. What says, I'm sending for fisher. Please listen to us from your phone. Turn your TV volume down, please. Yes. Uh, okay. And he said two categories of people, and it was a confirmation of what Joel prophesied. Mm. The hunters and fishermen. Hunters are specialized on land. Mm. Fishermen are specialized on the sea. So nowadays, a lot of people think, you know, if, if, if there's a homosexual law, there's, it's like they are banned from the church. But these are the people that God was, for this reason, the Son of God was manifested mm. to bring closer to cross. So mm. I just thank God for me with respect to our ministry and also to, to, to walk in my. Father, I pray for your son. Release divine authority, power, blessing upon her his life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you and thank you so much for this insight. Let's read what you were saying. Let's read what you said. There's somebody on the line. Hello? Hello? Hello, caller. It's Hello? All right. So Jeremiah 16, 16 says, But I was sent... For many fishermen, declares the Lord, and they will catch them. After that, I will send for many hunters, and they will hunt them down on every mountain and hill from the surface, from the crevice of the rocks. Hold on, hold on. Hello, caller, what's your name? And where are you calling from? Hello. The, the best thing is that the people should share the video because, yes, the, 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 you see, if somebody Hello. is insulting men of God and insulting the church, Hello. you see thousands of people. Hello. You understand? They should share it. They should yes. share it. They should yes. share it. Yes. So that people get to hear the truth. That is it. That is it. Please somebody. share the video. Please share the video. That's so Hello, caller. Exactly what we're reading. Okay. So, prophet, my name is Emo, calling from Ghana. All right, someone, talk to us. Hello. Please listen to us and then uh, lower your uh, your 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 thing. Yeah. Hello. Yes, we are listening to you. Hello. We are listening to you, sir. Yes. I, I, am I talking to prophet? Yes, you are. Well, well, oh when you call us, please, we beg you, make sure you reduce your uh, face volume, volume, volume and then you can talk to us and you can hear us on your phone, please. We beg you. Yes. The caller should call us once again. We are, yes, please. But um, Jeremiah sixteen sixteen says, But now I will send for many fishermen, declares the Lord, and they will catch them. After that, I will send for many hunters, and they will hunt them down on every mountain and hill, and from the cleft of the rocks. Mm. My eyes are on all their ways. That's 17. They are not hidden from me, nor is their sin concealed from my eyes. Yes. That, 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 that particular scripture is talking about men of God mm. that will come okay. and then... Uh, the world will consume them, will destroy them because of their kind of work they are doing. And God says that He will not forgive those people who will hand them down. Yes. You know, and yes. this is a serious thing. 
Wow. Wow. This is a serious thing. Wow. You have people who have a problem because the pastor is, is, is showing off his car. Mm. They are okay when a musician is showing off his car. Mm -hmm. They are okay with it. Mm -hmm. Somebody is on the line. Hello, Cola. Hello, good, good morning. Good morning, <coughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from, please? My name is Amos, and I'm calling from Ghana. Bless you, Amos. Speak to us. Amen. I, I, I want to share a, a testimony to what Prophet is saying. Okay, please feel free. Go ahead. I have been following Prophet for a very long time. Okay. There, there, was a time there was a time that he was preaching, and I, I followed the preaching, and based on that, I, I had a turnaround. Jesus, wow. Jesus. Wow. I, I, I was I was a person that has tried school for so many years and it's not working. Mm. Every time I go, I have to be dropped up for three consecutive times. Mm. There was a time I thought everything was lost and I would want to commit a suicide. <clears throat> so I was watching him on the on the on Facebook and he, he was singing Warao 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 I don't hear me. So I thought that prophet was talking to me. Jesus. So from that day, I have had a thing of life, and I've always wanted to talk to him one on one until I, I until this uh, um, very day. So I thank him very much for the good work he's doing and the impact on our life. Because wow. of that, I have now become a full man, man of God, and I'm fully sitting with Christ so wow. because of the way the message God has turned my life. Around that, any anywhere, everywhere I stand on a public street, I mention his name. He, 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 even though he has not seen him before, the wow. time I heard he was coming to Ghana, but I couldn't get a chance to meet him. So I have taken him as my my Godfather, mm -hmm. and everywhere he is, I pray that let the oil of God be Jesus. upon him. He is the one in a million times. He talked about the truth and, and nothing else. He has saved my life too, and so I wow. give this testimony. Wow. And I pray that may God increase the anointing. I humble myself, my spirit, wow. whatever. Wow. Jesus. After this, if I can call for him to be talking to me, giving me directions. Of course, I, I, I will be coming to yes. Ghana. I'll be coming to Ghana on the second. I'll be in Ghana on the second. The second or what? Yes. On, on the first. Yeah. Okay. I'll be coming to okay. Ghana and I wish I could meet you one on one. Yeah. And then. And I'll. Then I'll Prophet, I'll come. I'll save the number. Yes, please. Yes, please. God bless you. Thank, I'll thank you. God give bless you. The address, so if you are watching, yes. the address will come. We are at Kasua, so we'll uh, give you all the address and then you can write it down. Uh, uh, okay, so I, I'll take the address and follow. All right, then. God bless you. God bless you. God bless thank you so you. much. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. You know, that was a very powerful testimony. Amazing. And I don't know you have person. no idea that this person even exists. And, and you yes. know what? Those who are sharing the video mm. are the one doing the miracle. That's right. I That's am right. speaking. Please but share the more the they video. share it, mm. you understand? Mm. Listen, you go to some places and a particular person is there mm. talking about some rubbish thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How big his breast is. Mm. How some people should touch it. Mm -hmm. And thousands of people are watching. Mm -hmm. But you see, Christians, because we are hypocrites, mm -hmm. a pastor will come on oh. and not share. Like but we'll be listening he because should. he has got some sermon out of it. He doesn't want his church members to know that Wait, he is getting wrong. it from here. My God, this, my this God, is hypocrisy, God, and that is it's coming from the pit of hell. Let us change. Please do me a favor, guys. Share the video. I've got only three more minutes to round up. So, Papa, thank you so much. I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a few of my adverts just before we end up. But before I go into the adverts, Papa, please. Tell us what is happening today because we know that today you are going out with some soldiers to reach out to some souls. Today I'm, to I'm going please. to two places. Oh, two places. Yeah, two places. Whoa. Today we are going on the streets. Okay. And you know that we are going to the hood. Yeah. Peckham. Yeah. I'm so happy mm -hmm. and I'm so happy, so happy, so yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. We are going there. We are going there with chicken and okay. drinks. Hey. Okay. You know, okay. Um, we are giving them their drinks they want. Oh. oh. And after as they are drinking, yes. we will be talking to them. That's right. Okay. And um, um, this one, it is the same gang people, mm -hmm. you know, who have invited us to come to another side of the place. Wow. And this time, it's going to be even more. Wow. And, and the most serious thing is that, I mean, these are dangerous guys. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. it's not a joke. Okay. You know, but. We, we have the Holy Spirit. Come on. So we, we are do. not afraid. We are not afraid. And 
Uh, uh, recently, one of the guys called me and said, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I can't run again. I'm, I'm wow. tired. You know? And so we are going there to talk to these guys and then feed them, make them to eat and feel at home as a farmer. Yeah. And so after that, yeah. we, are, we are going to Croydon. After Peckham, we are going to Croydon. Okay. And it's a gathering of royals. Okay. Um, Pastor Chibi. Okay, okay. Uh, Reverend Amazing. Apostle Dr. Chibi, wow. my son. Wow. Um, who never knew God. But, mm. You know, one of just a prophecy. He is in change. My and God. now he's a great man of God. Wow. He's been traveling all over the world. Wow. And uh, we are going there to make sure we support the work. And, and I'm going to preach there. And so I invite anybody from the Croydon area yeah. to be there. And Sunday! Sunday! Yesterday was amazing. But Sunday Sunday is going to be an anointing service. It's going to be a washing of teeth, uh, you know, feet. It's going to be a washing of the body. God is going to wash each and everybody's body. And God is going to somehow surprise people with the joy and the blessing. There's going to be fruitfulness. That's right. That's right. The anointing is so huge. It's mm. now it's, it's moving to the next level. Next level. Yes, next level. Is. Next it's level. And is. I know that the soldiers are ready. Yes, People are, are ready. Something is happening. Hey. You know, somebody told me said that they don't know what's going on. What is going on? Because <laughs> something is happening. And, something and amazingly, is happening. people yeah. who are, are participating of the uh, the flow of the anointing mm. are giving testimony. Jesus, come on. I am asking myself. Why are you sitting down? Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting at home? Mm -hmm. Because, you see, we had 24-7 miracle. Come on. We have had just within one, you know, a five minutes miracle. Yes. A person yes. who came and said, Daddy, when you said to me, I went, I was going to buy something. All of a sudden, the person gave me 2,000 pounds. Yes. That is a miracle. My I said, God. I see 2,000 pounds. The person received it. God Jesus. is going to do some amazing come on, things. Come on, my God. And he's my doing God. it. God. Yes, he I, is. I feel it. I don't know about I, I can feel it. You know, I can feel this it. is happening. Yes, it, it is. is happening. Yes, it is. You know what, guys? Do, do not miss it at all. Be sure to be on Road with us today. And also tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp. All the soldiers sharp. there. All the soldiers there. Yes. If they are feeling it, they have to tell us. We are hey, it. tell us if you're they feeling have it. it. If I want to know it. if you're feeling it. Come on, tell us you're feeling it. That's it. Please share with us. Thank you so much. God bless you. But very quickly, just before I round up, I'm just going to let you know, listen. Um, thank you so much to all the YouTube um, viewers you as know, well. Yesterday, God bless you. Yesterday, yes. Uh, Adnan just called me and said, Daddy, the fire is too much. His mm -hmm. mom is dad. Everybody is Muslim. Mm -hmm. And we were able to win him for Christ. Come on. He said to me, Daddy, I, 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 I feel like this is the time for me to go and speak to my mom Come and my on. dad. You know, this is a guy who is afraid that if he speaks to his mom, he knows that he's going to be killed. Mm, he said, mm, I, I, I don't mind if I, if I die because I know that now this is the fire. Jesus. Daddy, I want to go and speak to him. I said, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Oh my said, no, God. I'm going. Oh you know, the, the fire is burning. It is burning. Because, listen, Thursday, one person brought six, six people. Souls. Yes, Yesterday, we got about ten souls. Yes. Yesterday, yes. some of them came from Birmingham. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, just yes. yesterday, yesterday, people are coming from different they places, are. and that is what God is doing. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, in our church, the old folks are leaving, mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. you can see the young men coming and how they are feeling the place. They Jeez. come with joy and peace. Jeez. I was amazed yesterday when we finished church. Mm -hmm. People were still coming. Yeah, they were not ready to leave. Young men, yeah, I saw about arriving. about 10 yeah. people now arriving. Yes, please. I said, hey, mm -hmm. and they didn't leave. No. Yesterday I had to, I had to <laughs> leave because I, I was tired. <laughs> oh my God. That is the power of God. That's right. That is right. That is right. Listen, we have a university in Ghana, okay? And I want to share with you. And especially for the young one that said they want to be in Ghana when daddy is there. The address is of Kaswa Obom Road, Nessus Quarters, Abiam City. Of Kaswa Obom Road, Nessus Quarters, Abiam City. The number to contact is 0307-037090. I repeat one more time, it's 0307-037090. Also, 
our service, where we have service, where we meet is 777 in London, okay? It's 777 Old Camp Road, SE15, 1 and Z. We are on the third floor. We will be meeting in just a few hours, about two hours. 1 p.m. Be sure to join us. We are going out there to win souls for Christ, to turn lives around and give them hope. Okay, so be sure to join us. Reverend Dr. Abiyam Ampumadanso will be there with us. So 777 Old Ken Road, SE15, 1 and Z. Right now as we speak, there are people there. So if you do not, if you can't get the address as I'm speaking and you want address, you want directions, it's 0207 635 7100. 0207 635 7100. Zero, zero. We're going to be having a, an amazing program next week. We will talk about it. We will go into it with you. It's called Breaking Negative Covenants from the 25th through to the 28th. So even if you're not here, if you're not, if you're not in London, get your tickets ready because the program is going to be amazing. So God bless you so much. Tazi. Yes. From, from Thursday, from Thursday through to Sunday, from the 25th to the 28th, from Thursday through to Sunday. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for joining in. Facebook, YouTube, you know what? Well, let me tell one last thing. You can follow the man of God on Instagram. He's on Instagram and his at is at Abiyam Ampoma Dancer. Abiyam Ampoma Dancer. God bless you so much. Thank you for tuning YouTube. in. Yes, YouTube is Abiyam Ministries. Abiyam Ministries. Thank and, and, you so, so if much. If you want guys. my music, my music, where, yes, where can you, you can get it on Abiyam Ministries on YouTube and also on iTunes. Abiyam Ministries. Abiyam all the way. We love you guys. God bless you.